Morning guys and girls. Um, today we're going to be talking about a more reef based species, um, specifically the white barred rubber lips. Now it's Plectorhynchus playfairy. Now Plectorhynchus comes from a shielded nose, they've got the, the scaling on the top of the nose um, or, or front and um, Playfairy is named after famous ichthyologist Playfairy. In terms of the fish overall it's quite a robust uh, bream type, type of fish. Um, obviously the rubber lips comes from the, the rubber lips themselves, they've got these big big uh, puto smackers that come out the front. So the lips they've got um, a sort of a pinkish color to them on the inside of the mouth and on the just on the back side of the lip. Um, if you pull the lip forward you actually see it all the way around. Um, and that obviously, obviously shows up in the fresher the fish the, the more you're going to see that. But the name itself, white barred rubber lips, comes from sort of an overall browny black almost bronzy kind of sheen to them and they've got these four white bars that sit on the fish the first sitting on the gill plate itself and then working progressively back they're quite large large bars and they go all the way from the dark top all the way to that white white belly on the front overall size wise you're looking at a fish gets to about 50 centimeters um, but being quite a hefty chunky fish they do weigh quite a bit in their, their size they are one of the fish that are surprisingly not very inquisitive, so divers really don't, or spear fishermen at least, don't shoot them a lot because as soon as they see someone, they bolt off. So they're quite skittish. Um, they feed better in the day, so targeting them, it comes to more looking at that the white water near coral and rocky reefs where it's going to be a bit of um, water for them to hide in. They're not going to get spooked as easily when it comes to seeing you flicking a rod or landing a big bait near them. They're just going to shoot out. Um, where to find them? Port St. John's is sort of the southern southern boundary. Obviously, these the boundaries are sort of a bit flexible, so they can move up and down. And then from there north, with the real um, concentrations being more on the Zululand sort of coastline. Um, as we mentioned, coral and rocky reefs. So that that Zululand coastline is really where you're going to be finding more of them. It's, it's more of that that structure that you're going to have. And in terms of depths and things like that from your intertidal zones all the way down to about 80 meters of depth so they do go that deep but you're generally catching them more in that intertidal zone at that shallower section um, scientifically they haven't been very well studied um, obviously studying involves a lot of funding and, and forcing behind it and things like that so it's trying to motivate to get a species studies can be very very difficult so they aren't well studied we don't know a lot about the rest of the breeding habits and things like that and um, yeah they are constant sort of all year round the abundance that they have they're not they don't peak and dip and peak and dip um, you can catch them whether it's summer whether it's winter they they always there the, the numbers and the, the concentrations are sort of the same food wise um, you're looking more crustacean shrimp um, sometimes fish they got these rubbery lips um, to them that they're really not designed for biting, but they can suck things in. So worms, they'll, they'll take off of the rocks. Um, smaller fish if they can catch them. And then um, things like your crustaceans and things like that, they're, they're gonna eat. So yeah, the white barred rubber lips. Um, very interesting species, some that you're not, not usually caught. More your dusky rubber lips and things like that. The guys are more, um, or fair with and yeah it's a lovely species something different and uh, yeah really more on that sort of upper upper north coast of KZN. Good job the rubber loves. Cheers guys. Mm -hmm.